your bite-sized daily roundup of the biggest news from the world of film. This is The Daily Reel with Van Connor. Good morning. It's Friday and it's May the 28th. It's the day opening day cinema audiences saw Rocky fight Mr. T in Rocky 3 today in 1982. Stallone took it to the edge in Cliffhanger in 1993. And Maleficent and Edge of Tomorrow arrived in cinemas today in 2014. It's birthday to Kerry Mulligan, Jake Johnson, Kylie Minogue and Borat star Rudy Giuliani. And it's the day all of this was happening. Aaron Taylor Johnson has signed on to portray legendary Spider-Man villain Craven the Hunter yeah! for Sony Pictures. Aww. In yet another bid to expand their Spideyless Spider-Verse, which already includes Tom Hardy's Venom and Jared Leto's yet-to-be-released Morbius, Sony have cast Taylor Johnson as the legendary comic book character who first appeared all the way back in 1964. A Stan Lee creation, Craven the Hunter is a big game hunter obsessed with hunting the most dangerous prey in the wildest of locations, which, because comic books, leads him to hunt the web-slinging wall crawler amidst the urban jungles of New York. It's unclear what exactly a Craven the Hunter movie would look like without Spider-Man, but Taylor Johnson's casting also creates something of a continuity hiccup moving forwards. The actor previously portrayed the superhero Quicksilver in Avengers Age of Ultron, and given that Spider-Man Homecoming's Michael Keaton villain Vulture recently showed up in the Morbius trailer effectively linking the two universes, well, this one's doubtless going to annoy the fanboys. Either way, Craven the Hunter will be directed by J.C. Shandor, and it'll debut on the 13th of January, 2023. You didn't see that coming? Kevin Clark, best known for playing drummer Freddie Jones, aka Spazzy McGee in School of Rock, has died at the age of 32. Chicago police have confirmed that at around 1.20 yesterday morning, Clark was struck by a 20-year-old woman in a Hyundai Sonata whilst riding his motorcycle. The crash was apparently so severe that in just under an hour, he was pronounced dead at the Illinois Masonic Medical Center. School of Rock, the 2003 film which also starred Jack Black and was directed by Richard Linklater, has become a cultural touchstone for millennials in the years since its release, and has even been adapted to both a three-season Nickelodeon TV show and a West End musical from Andrew Lloyd Webber. In a tribute to Clark, Jack Black called the news devastating, and wrote on social media, Kevin is gone, way too soon, a beautiful soul, sending love to his family and the whole School of Rock community. School of Rock was Clark's only film by choice, though he remained an avid and gifted musician for his entire life. He is survived by his mother, Alison. Here's the deal. I've got a hangover. Who knows what that means? Doesn't that mean you're drunk? No. It means I was drunk yesterday. It means you're an alcoholic. Wrong. You wouldn't come to work hungover unless you're an alcoholic. Dude, you got a disease. Hmm. Val Kilmer, iconic star of stage and screen, is to be the subject of a documentary from Amazon Studios and A24. Kilmer's career has seen him portray iconic roles ranging from Batman in Batman Forever and Iceman in Top Gun to Jim Morrison in The Doors and Chris Hurlis in Heat. In recent years, however, the artist's life has been dominated by a lengthy and difficult battle with throat cancer that's left his voice raspy and strained. The documentary, which will be directed by Leo Scott and Ting Pu, will utilize a combination of new interviews with Kilmer and his friends and family, as well as footage of the actor's life and journal thoughts across four decades. A grateful Kilmer told reporters, At least once a day for years I looked around and got this bittersweet feeling that there are a thousand reasons that this project could have been shipwrecked. It is unimaginable that this movie actually could have ever come to lie without the partnership of my dear friends, Leo and Ting. The film, entitled Val, is set to release at some point later this year, but is rumoured to be making its debut at the Cannes Film Festival this summer. Kilmer, meanwhile, can next be seen returning to the role of Iceman in Top Gun Maverick, which will hit cinemas on the 19th of November. You! You are still dangerous. You can be my wingman anytime. You can be mine. Movies opening in UK cinemas today include Surge, Zebra Girl, Vanquish, Granada Knights, Billie Eilish, The World is a Little Blurry, Bank Job, Felix and the Hidden Treasure, Frankie, and Cruella.
Cruella's also available to stream on Disney Plus's premium access tier from today, with other new additions to their regular streaming library otherwise, including a short film collection, Launchpad, 12 Rounds, Aquamarine, The Art of Racing in the Rain, Choke, Keeping Up with the Joneses, Let's Be Cops, and Little Miss Sunshine. Over on Netflix, meanwhile, today sees the arrival of the animated kids' movie Dog Gone Trouble, and Albert Serra's The Death of Louis XIV comes to movie. Freeview tonight offering up Avengers Age of Ultron on BBC One and Effie Gray on BBC Two. Twister and After Earth on Five Star. True Lies is showing on E4. A View to a Kill and Metro are on ITV4. There's Don't Look Back on BBC Four. Pitch Perfect 2 showing on ITV Two. Film 4 is showing The Hound of the Baskervilles, Star Trek and The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey. Upside Down, the 2002 remake of Solaris, Fury and Baby Driver are on Sony Movies. The Horror Channel's got Exorcist the Beginning and It Follows, and the Sky Cinema are now premiere today is the comedy caper breaking news in Yuba County. That was the Daily Reel for Friday, May the 28th. Have a great weekend, stay safe, keep it cinematic, don't forget to leave us a rating or a review wherever you're listening to the show. Have a nice bank holiday and we'll see you back here on Tuesday. The Daily Reel is a Candy Saw production, presented by Van Connor and written by Calvin Prickett. All information is correct at the time of writing, and source links are in the description for each episode. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe on all good podcast platforms, or ask Alexa to install the Daily Reel skill for your morning flash briefing. Follow the show on social at Daily Reel Pod, and we'll be back every weekday. Until then, keep it cinematic. Cinematic.